Hey guys, Justin here of Yugatech, and if you look at entry-level smartphones from a few years back, you'll see devices that are considered as affordable yet are underpowered. I mean, you can't even consider these as daily drivers since they can't do continuous multitasking or even gaming. But now we see more of these entry-level smartphones with hardware that punches above its price. And one of them is the Xiaomi Redmi 9C. Now, is this the daily driver for you? Let's find out. Alright, let's talk about design first. The Redmi 9C is quite a big device thanks in part to its huge battery but also its design. While the 6.53-inch HD plus IPS display doesn't sound as big as other smartphones in the market today, the bezels surrounding the screen are quite thin by today's standards, resulting in an overall larger profile. At the back, you can find the square-shaped protruding rear camera module that contains three sensors. And you'll also find here its fingerprint scanner as well as some Redmi branding. The back has a pattern that's similar to the Redmi 9A. It sort of resembles a fingerprint which is basically like a bunch of curved lines. It looks pretty cool. There's a bit of texture to it and you need not worry about smudges since it's not glossy. On the left side, we have the triple card tray with dedicated slots for two nano SIM cards and a micro SD card. Meanwhile, on the right, we have the volume rocker and power button. The bottom part contains the micro USB port, microphone, and loudspeaker. While up top, we get the 3.5mm headphone jack. Nice. The Redmi 9C is one chunky and hefty smartphone. It's quite tall and wide too, but the overall feel is robust, and it's still comfortable to hold thanks to the matte finish on the back panel and the curvature on the sides. Although some users with small hands might find it difficult to navigate with one hand though. Now for display, the Redmi 9C features a 6.53-inch HD plus IPS dot drop display which equates to 269 pixels per inch. It's a decent resolution even for a screen of this size as the pixels aren't noticeable when viewed from a normal distance. The colors are not as punchy as those found in AMOLED screens but they're natural and accurate. Viewing angles are okay, although it gets dimmer when viewed from extreme angles. It's also prone to glare meaning it can easily reflect strong light sources, especially outdoors. The screen is also not as bright as we prefer. Honestly, we enjoy watching YouTube and Netflix videos on it. The audio is crisp and loud, although the lows are almost non-existent. It's good for casual listening, Zoom calls, and hands-free voice calls. But if you want a really good listening experience, we still recommend that you take advantage of its headphone jack. Make sure to use your favorite wired headphones or a Bluetooth speaker. Next up, performance. Powering the Redmi 9C is the MediaTek Helio G35 chip paired with the Power VR GE8320 GPU. We get 2 or 3 GB of RAM and 32 or 64 GB of internal storage. The model we have on hand is the 2 GB plus 32 GB variant. It's good enough for basic tasks including surfing the web and heavy use of social media apps. You can play light games on it although don't expect a fluid experience on more demanding games. We were still able to play Mobile Legends but in the medium graphics settings. Given the small RAM, its multitasking capabilities are also limited. Basically, this configuration of the Redmi 9C is just for basic tasks and light applications. For some numbers, check out the benchmark scores we got. Now, as for software, the Redmi 9C runs on Android 10 skinned with MIUI 12.0.1. It looks similar to MIUI 11 but with some nicer visual tweaks. It still uses multiple home screens to house the apps, and you still have the option to navigate the interface using the traditional buttons or with full gestures. Noticeably, there are plenty of apps pre-installed but not all of them are bloatware. There's the stock MIUI apps and the usual Google apps. The third-party ones are Facebook, WPS Office, Netflix, Lazada, and 6 games. You can simply uninstall them if you don't like it. When it comes to battery, the Redmi 9C is equipped with a large 5000 mAh capacity. That should last you two days if you're not a heavy user. In the PC Mark's battery test, the battery life was rated at 18 hours and 27 minutes, which is great. However, charging is low as it only supports 10 watts charging. Meanwhile, in our standard video loop test, which entails the phone being at 50% brightness, 50% volume, airplane mode turned on, and with headphones plugged in, the device lasted a longer 18 hours and 48 minutes. And when it comes to biometrics and security, you can unlock the phone through facial recognition and its in-display fingerprint scanner, which didn't work pretty quick compared to others we've tried. But it's still reliable. 
Moving on to cameras, the Redmi 9C gets a triple rear camera setup consisting of a 13 megapixel primary, a 5 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth for portraits. Although the sensor resolution is not as high as those found in more expensive phones, this configuration makes it a versatile shooter that can adapt depending on the user's needs. We're not expecting much from an entry-level smartphone, but based on the photos we've taken, the Redmi 9C came out as a pretty good shooter for its caliber. Shots taken in the bright outdoors look sharp with great contrast. The colors are rich too, especially the greens, reds, and blues. It can still manage decent photos indoors, although you will notice that it starts losing details and colors as the light gets dimmer. For selfies, the 5 megapixel shooter is decent as well. Not a lot of resolution to go around, but the quality is great if you're taking photos in a bright environment. The portrait mode works, but expect it not to be perfect. Still, it can be used for social media uploads. As for videos, the Redmi 9C can shoot up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. I didn't notice any stabilization, but the colors are great. There's noticeable over-sharpening, but not aggressive. Okay, let's talk about price. The Redmi 9C exists to provide users with a smartphone that has a large screen, capable performance, versatile cameras, and long battery life without breaking the bank. At 5,290 pesos for the 2GB plus 32GB model, this makes it one of the most affordable and compelling smartphones for its class. However, we recommend getting the 3GB plus 64GB model for 5,990 pesos, so you get better multitasking capabilities and more storage and therefore more value for your money. So that's it for this review. What do you guys think of the Redmi 9C? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.